Shalom brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Today I will share the dream given to me on November 3rd, 2021. In this dream, I was at home. My sister and I were busy getting ready to go to an event organized by the church and we were in a hurry to get things ready. Looks like the event was an event outside the church building. It seemed like we were going somewhere for a vacation for about three days. In this dream, my sister and I were at home preparing things that we would take with us. There are so many things that I will be carrying, so I don't know how to pack them. I wrapped the, the items only with a piece of clothes instead of putting them in a bag. I estimated at that time that the items I was carrying were around three big packages. And at that moment in my spirit, I felt as if we are going to be late and I was in a great hurry and confused to prepare these things. Then I asked my sister, what time are we leaving because we didn't know the exact time we were going to leave, but I also felt it was time to leave and it seemed we were already late. It was around 2 or 3 p.m. at that time. So I said to my sister, let us make sure first what time are we actually leaving. Shortly after that, my sister came and told me that we were leaving at 7 p.m. And in my heart, I feel relieved because it is, if it is 7 p.m. means there's still plenty of time to prepare the things. That's the end of the dream. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I feel like this dream related to rapture. The event at the church that I and my sister were going at this dream symbolized rapture. In most of my previous dreams about rapture, it is always me and my sister. Whether I saw us preparing the clothes, wearing wedding dress, or going to the wedding party. So I feel like this dream is about rapture too. In this dream, I was shown about the preparation to go. So I feel like God is telling us to pack our bags because we are about to leave. Jesus said be ready because we don't know the day and the hour. In this dream, seems like there will be a delay because I heard my sister said we will go at 7 p.m. But I don't want to think and say that we, we still have many years or plenty of time here. We, we must have this end time urgency, means we must live our life like Jesus will come at any moment. The most important thing about rapture is not about when Jesus will come but it is about how we make ourselves ready to meet him. Brothers and sisters, we will not know when Jesus will come, but we can see the signs that is written in Matthew 24, such as earthquakes, famines, wars and rumors of wars, persecutions, disasters such as flooding, hurricane, heat waves, and so on. They are increasing in frequency and intensity. These are called the beginning of sorrows, and they are being fulfilled before our eyes now. But then some people and even the church will say, it has always happened throughout the history, such as pestilence, wars, earthquakes, famines, all come and go and they will say we are not in the end time yet. Brothers and sisters, it is true that wars, famines, earthquakes have happened in the past, but have they ever happened simultaneously like we see now and increasing in frequency? So these people they are saying we are not in the end time are in the deep sleep spiritually. I cannot imagine what the great shaking that will do to wake these people up. How many churches today warn believers about the end times while all the signs are everywhere? Not all believers who call themselves Christians are true believers. Only a few will walk on the narrow path with Jesus. Brothers and sisters, this is a calling for us to make preparation for His coming. It is not enough if we only say we believe and we go to the church. God is calling us to go deeper. We must have the personal relationship with Jesus in prayer and His Word and must be born again. Means there must be some change and transformation in our life by the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit is inside of us, we will not want to live in sins anymore. We will want to live holy for God. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we are saved by faith alone. It is true and biblical teaching. But some people or false teachers twisted this verse and make it look like we don't have to obey and keep his commandments. They interpret this scripture according to their flesh and make the wrong biblical conclusion that leads them to destruction. 
They are promoting this empty faith that will not lead people to salvation, but to damnation. The faith written in the scripture is the real faith that will produce obedience and good fruit in our life. So if there are people saying or teaching we are saved by faith, but reject repentance from sins, holiness, obedience, and any other good things, we can know for sure that it is not the real faith that they are saying. It is just a knowing or empty faith that will produce lukewarmness, falsehood, and hypocrisy in our life. So please stay away from them and their teaching. We need to be careful of who we listen to because it is about our eternity. Jesus is coming soon, brothers and sisters. Prepare ourselves and be ready. Have the real faith and relationship with Jesus. Live in holiness and righteousness according to the word of God. That's all I like to share, brothers and sisters. Hope this could encourage us and help us to prepare for the coming of Jesus. If you have any comments about this dream, can share it in the comment section below. And if you need prayer, you can send email to me or share it in the comment section. May Jesus our Lord and Savior bless us all. Love you all, brothers and sisters, and thank you for listening. Bye.